chess toughness, infinite resistance, not losing is the topic of today's video on GM Talks. What is chess toughness? What is infinite resistance? And how can you not lose when you're playing against strong players? Well, the key is to keep making good moves, just not getting to that phase psychologically where you give up. And, uh, and y you probably get to that phase more often than you think because you think to yourself, well, it's always hopeless, so I just try this trick. That's when you should have your chest toughness and just keep in there, staying there, even though it's unpleasant. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Uh, I think it was uh, explained very well in, um, in the book Sev uh, Seven Deadly Chess uh, uh, Sins uh, by uh, Rawson. A uh, great book. Uh, he writes uh, very good books. Uh, he's a very intellectual uh, guy, uh, but uh, also entertaining and uh, thoughtful. He's uh, thinking a lot about things, which I like. So. Uh, here's a recommendation. Read that book. Anyway, this is not. Uh, we're gonna see a game today where uh, I've succumbed to uh, to the infinite resistance and didn't win a winning position against uh, a strong German, uh, no, a Dutch uh, grandmaster in the Bundesliga. Uh, I played a lot in the Bundesliga. It's been very important for my chess career because you get a lot of tough games in a good competitive environment where you just. Uh, well, everybody's taking it very seriously, even though there's a friendly atmosphere, there's also a tense atmosphere. And we play with match points, which we don't do in Denmark, which, by the way, is a slight scandal, I think. Uh, okay, let's get into it. I am white against Benjamin Buck, um, and I play e4, and I play the Moscow variation. We have had a little bit uh, of uh, talk about that, and I showed some lines for white. You can see it in the play notes. Uh, a weapon for white, I think I call it. Um, and here, what to do against knight d7. Well, at the moment, they are playing something like this and playing a very fast bishop d3, which is interesting um, and, and could be, uh, be an, a, a good idea. Uh, I played this move which uh, I saw Carlsen play, uh, and I kind of like what Carlsen does, so I tried as well. Um, knight f6 makes sense. Uh, of course, um, he here, uh, Bach, he wanted to play the knight of, uh, for sure. And, uh, and the knight of is a very interesting, sharp opening, and I only go into uh, interesting, sharp variations if... I have an idea of what to do, and I'm sure I will be better prepared than my opponent. Otherwise, I avoid it, uh, and that's also why I play this move. And I never, I think I never lost with Bishop B5 check. I don't play it very often. I just play it once in a while, and that's that works fine. Um, white is, is, by the way, developing very fast. And if you could get this position with black, for instance, you would be very happy. So it's like the English reversed. A6, interesting move. Um, I think uh, some players have has taken here, but uh, and I think uh, the main line is bishop e2 and then play d4 and take with the queen. Um, I was uh, slightly in love with this uh, concept. Uh, and g6 is, uh, is, 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 is interesting. And here I go for um, this move which I think surprised him a little bit. The idea is uh, if he goes uh, here, which could be a sensible move sometimes, I go uh, with this idea, I play uh, d4 and uh, switch to an open Sicilian with a lot of extra tempis. And this pawn is not stupid unless I lose it, but I will probably not lose it. Um, so e6, uh, and instead I play d3, bishop d7, and... Um, and I kind of like uh, this position for white. Uh, I have this this pawn here. Oops, sorry. Uh, that would be very bad. Uh, this pawn here is uh, is annoying for 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 black. It's disturbing the development. You he would like to play uh, b6 and bc b7. But if he plays b6 or b5, I take. But he he decided to do that anyway. 
Uh, at the, in the meantime, I have a lot of moves. I will probably play something like this or this and maybe this and bishop a6 and say, okay, I have a, have a nice free development. I have good pieces. Uh, I have control over the center. Uh, what's not to like? Uh, no weaknesses. b5. And I take and queen takes. And that was a little bit surprising and a good move, I think. Bishop b3, I'm not sure I like this move uh, now. Um, at the moment, I thought that was very smart, uh, but I'm probably playing a little bit too passively here. This was in 2017, and I think uh, my problems with playing too passively started around here. Uh, Bishop b7, I didn't really know what to do here. Uh, so I played a3, which makes some sense. Uh, I Black can often play this move, and uh, with this queen here, it, it even makes more sense to, to avoid it. But uh, d5, I had probably underestimated a little bit. Uh, I thought that that would always be bad, but, but at the moment, this, this pawn that is supposed to be weak is not weaker than my pawn here. So, um, e5 trying to, to at least get something and we see that this bishop here is, is ridiculous so um, and and it could be good one day but in the meantime it could also be bad and so on so I decided to uh, to, to an annoy him a little bit here and trying to play on the dark squares um, so I would I would I would really like to take and, and just put everything on black uh, Bishop C6. Good move. Bishop d7 uh, threatens here and um, and avoids uh, and he, he cannot take now. So he has to. This looks also a little bit clumsy. Even though I think he's playing very well here, uh, Benjamin, and he's he's just, of course a strong 2600 player. Uh, so that was to be expected. Queen d2. Queen d2. Uh, of course, with the idea to exchange this bishop um, and hopefully. Uh, get to this king one day, which is what uh, you usually are after when you have a space advantage on the uh, king side. You played knight b5, and that was also a good move. Uh, the knight was not doing much there. He would like to improve his structure, and it might go here and undermine this pawn. Uh, I, I, I felt I was getting outplayed here. I didn't really like taking and playing bishop h6. Uh, so I decided to uh, that because black just have much more space. He's gonna uh, he's gonna exchange everything in the A file. For instance, if I go here, something like this. I think it just goes like this. And he has a space advantage on the queen side, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna be worse here uh, for sure. So. Um, so I decided that uh, that this works, uh, it, but it's probably losing a pawn, but uh, I didn't see that <laughs> at the time. Uh, but I do get some chances, and it felt right not to improve his structure. Knight d4, a nice move I had to take. And he took here, which was a bit of a surprise for me. I had hoped to take on d7. Um, so he's lowering the, the queen. To, to the, the side, but he's also opening uh, the C file here and uh, getting ready for this guy to go, knight e2. Uh, but then I think here around here he realized that, okay, it's kind of dangerous if I get to play something like this. Uh, he will have problems defending uh, this pawn down, down here. Uh, so he took this pawn. Take here, queen b6. And a very interesting position. Uh, it seems that I'm in some sort of a trouble because there's no good way to defend this this one. I don't want to take on e5 because he have a double attack, something like this. Uh, and he's attacking uh, this guy, and he's attacking this guy, and I'm losing a pawn. And this will be a very unpleasant pawn to deal with. Uh, instead, I found a rather nice move. I kind of like it. Um, I played this move, uh, defending it from the side, but also with the idea to make a big, huge swing this way. And I'm threatening his knight. So knight d7, 
and uh, so I didn't lose a pawn at the moment. B3, defending the pawn. Knight uh, rook f c8. Uh, good move, attacking the pawn again, and uh, and getting ready to 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 defend this way. Um, rook e3, slightly weird move. Uh, Sometimes I'm going to play this move, but I'm also covering. If he takes c2, I'm also covering here. Uh, I'm still dreaming of something like this. This take. He's going to take by the knight, and then rook h4, and therefore I need the rook to guard from this attack on uh, on f2, uh, which will happen after knight takes f3. All very complicated stuff. Queen c5. Um, and he was getting into time trouble here. It's a very interesting position, uh, very difficult. And, and the thing is, in the Bundesliga, nothing is ever uh, simple. The thing is, he's, he's actually threatening uh, this move, probably. And, uh, and this one is a problem. So queen h4, uh, I was getting I was starting to look intriguing. Sometimes I will have an attack. Uh, but it's also clear that that is not so easy for for black to play, and and this king could get into trouble. So I'm hoping to 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 land something. He plays e5, best move, knight here, and uh, and and he got open this one. Uh, but of course, after this move, this move, this move, here and here, I'm extremely active. Um, he has to be really, really careful, and I think he realized that around here that this is not so simple. Uh, I'm threatening uh, this move, and uh, that's probably going to win something, and at least have a perpetual check. And of course, this uh, Benjamin Bock is got 2600. I'm an old uh, Danish player, so he wants to beat me. Uh, Rook a7, Rook f3, kind of like this move. Um, Opens for for this move, covers this one, uh, and he was uh, really running uh, short on time. And the thing is, he don't really want to move uh, into attack and and something like this because my attack will just land there faster. I have a queen f6. I have here, and my king can probably run out here. So check king e2 and um and very very unpleasant position to play as black he's he's a pawn up but his his rooks does not coordinate very well um rook d7 queen f6 feels really good um to get this guy into the game maybe i'm threatening something like uh this move uh with with serious stuff coming um could be but I'm also uh, maybe just threatening this move with the clear plan to go all the way up to uh, to h6. Uh, often a very uh, very nice uh, way to um, to improve the attack. Queen c1 and making getting ready to to uh, to annoy the queen this way, this rook this way. Um, so h5, rook h6, queen h6 is not it's not really what I wanted. Um, could still be okay, I don't know. Um, but he's getting his queen to to g7, and that's that's definitely not what I wanted. So uh, threatening mate in two and uh, preventing the queen from coming to h6. He has to go back. Was not his intention. Rook e7. Very unpleasant, threatening uh, mate in two. Again, rook f8. h5. Now it's getting serious. Uh, this move is uh, is really, really a big problem if it gets there. So he has to play this move. And he has white. And it was move 39. And we were both very short on time. Uh, and of course, I play this move, <laughs> which is uh, he cannot be taken. Because of uh, queen g7 check mate, so he has to take with the queen because otherwise it comes uh, h6. Take and take and king g7, and I win this pawn, and he cannot take on f2. 
due to check, double attacking, h6, and rook uh, queen d7, check, winning the rook. So, but if he unfortunately he can take this one here, still, this is, of course, very promising for white. Uh, I took this pawn, I could see that he could still not take on f2. And, um, and he's building some sort of a fence here. So why didn't I win this game? That's the question. We have not talked about it yet. So Benjamin Buck uh, did play very well in the middle game. Then he was not. He got into time trouble and fell under an attack. And I think I played rather well in that phase of the game. And here uh, he is in serious trouble. Uh, I'm having queen and two pawns versus two rooks. And, uh, and his king is in bad shape, uh, and he has problems coordinating uh, the rooks. So why don't I win this game? Well, I don't win it because this uh, Benjamin Buck keeps fighting, fighting, fighting. And it's very, very difficult. I said it before. It's very difficult to beat someone who does not lose. So if you don't lose, you don't lose. <laughs> well, that's it. Uh, but not losing in one move or two moves keep fighting keep fighting and uh, in general that's uh, very hard to overcome and um, and by the way the technique is, is very clear you uh, you try to uh, but I, I played I, I think I moved them forward too fast these pawns because he managed to exchange this one and uh, that was not uh, part of the plan and his his drawing chances have improved here it's I think it's still winning due to that uh, the, the the pawn ending is winning uh, at the moment. But I have to be careful if I play something like b4 too soon, then he might take take, and I will not. Uh, the the pawn ending will be a draw. It could be a draw. I have to be careful. Anyway, uh, I still think this is winning. And and by the way, it's very easy to lose in one move for black here just uh, losing uh, something and i was very impressed that he did not lose something here check okay and here you can lose in one move uh, king g7 queen g4 wins uh, the rook on a1 check i'm still uh, trying to um, and f6 it also it's 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 a little bit a scary move to make but it's also it's not that bad and the, the, the threatening mate in one move here. King e5, rook c6, queen e5. And the, 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 the ending is winning. And I think around here, I think... Uh, I can't remember. I think queen d5 wins. Here I made a big mistake. No, not a big mistake yet. I should go back. But this looks very good, right? Uh, and this was a huge mistake. And here uh, Benjamin got uh, rewarded for his tough and long defense. It looks like I'm totally winning uh, because this is coming and and uh, and and winning. But uh, unfortunately, black has a very, very nice uh, uh, save here that saves the day. So black to move, you can pause the video or you can just applaud this move. I was just like, what did he do? And then I realized that, oh no, I threw it all away. Um, by the way, having uh, stamina and uh, defending well is easier the more rating you have. Uh, it's and and we we know this that I was not losing, but then he kept going, he kept going, he kept going, and he had more rating. And the thing is, it's easier to make good moves if you have more rating, uh, unfortunately. So what happened was this. Oops. And stalemate, and. A draw. Um, the more uh, for the higher rated player, making good moves cost less energy. That's also why you you probably we all uh, tried that. You're playing against a stronger player uh, or stronger opponent, and and you you are hanging in there. You're doing well. You're doing well. You're doing well to move 30, to move 40, to move 50, and then at move 60, 
you make a mistake and you lose uh, and and you're not maybe even you're more fit uh, physically than your opponent it doesn't matter because making good moves just cost less energy the more rating you have it's just easier so that's uh, the 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 hard thing about uh, this uh, uh chest toughness is that that you just can't overcome it anyway this was gm talks with a little slightly different uh, video uh, the, the the subject of infinite resistance just not losing is very interesting and by the way i think we are still waiting for our first member it's gonna be you you're gonna be like uh, maybe you're gonna maybe you're gonna get something i don't know thank you for watching